Right, in the previous video, we talked about the intuition for why the total variability can be broken down into the variability that's explained by the model plus the unexplained variability, right? And that's called the partitioning of total variability. So the sum of squares total is equal to the sum of squares from the regression plus the sum of squares from the residual, right? And we talked about some of the intuition behind this in the previous video. In this video, we want to basically show the proof, all right? So we said that this side equals this side of the equation, right? We want to show this, this, equal, this equality, okay? So where's the proof for this equation? That's what we're gonna show here, okay? So to start off this proof, um, let me start with yi minus y bar, right? Where am I getting that from? It's the left-hand side of this equation, okay? So I'm just gonna start off with yi minus y bar. This is the same thing as negative y bar plus yi, all right? All I've done is I've rearranged y, y bar and yi, okay? Now I can include yi hat in the front, but if I include yi hat in the front, I have to subtract it off in the back. Okay, so I've done nothing to the right-hand side. All I've done is I've added and subtracted the same number. Okay, and of course I can do parentheses, right, around these guys. That doesn't change the uh, equation at all. And why did I do all that? Well, I'm trying to make it look a little similar to what I'm seeing up here. Okay, and it's starting to look a little bit similar, but it's not quite there, right? What am I missing? I'm missing, most importantly, I'm missing that squared sign. So let's go ahead and square both sides of the equation here. So I have yi minus y bar squared equals, okay? Now when I square the right-hand side of this equation, I was to remind you guys, uh, property, so if we have like, for example, a plus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, right? This is just like a side, right? If you remember back to your algebra, right? This, you can FOIL or whatever you do to distribute and you can show this is true, right? So we're gonna basically have a as this front piece, y i hat minus y bar, okay? Squared, all right? So that's basically what A is. Then plus B is going to be this Y I minus Y hat squared, right? And that's the second piece in the back, back there. All right, and then I have plus two times A plus times B. So this is the front piece, Y I hat minus Y bar times y i minus y i hat, okay? And that's the back piece. Okay, now if I take the sum from i equals one to n, right, I'm gonna start seeing something very similar to what I'm trying to prove. So the sum from i equals one to n of y i hat minus y bar squared plus the sum from y equals i equals one to n of y i minus y hat squared plus two times this sum, right? We can pull out the two since it doesn't involve i, okay? Right, and so now I'm starting to see, wow, okay, this is really similar to what I'm trying to prove because this first piece here is SS total, right? And it's basically saying that it's equal to, the second piece here is SS regression, right? And this third piece is SS residual, okay? So now I just have this back piece plus this back piece here, right? And basically, if that back piece is zero, then I'm done, I've shown the proof. So I need this back piece to be equal to zero, and I, then I'll have done my proof, all right? So that's what I need to show. So I need to show 
that the sum from i equals 1 to n of y i hat minus y bar, okay, I need to show that that is zero. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply y i hat by my second term and y bar times the second term, okay? So, and I'll go ahead and distribute that sum as well. So I'll have y i hat times y i minus y i hat, okay? Minus, minus y bar can be pulled out of the sum since it doesn't involve i, of y i minus y i hat, okay? All right, so I need to show that this is zero, so I'm not gonna write equals zero yet because I need to show that. All right, um, actually, before I move on, I actually wanna pull off to the side and I want to uh, look at this piece right here, okay? This piece, um, let's go ahead and write this down. So actually, forget the uh, y bar, just this piece back here. Let's look at this for a second. So let's pull off to the side. Okay, so this sum um, y i minus y i hat. So the sum of my residuals, right? Uh, the sum of the residuals, it should be equal to zero, right? Uh, because of the way we've chosen our least squares estimators. But let's go ahead and just show this for, um, you know, completeness sake, all right? So this equals, right? I'm gonna go ahead and use the centered model here. So remember the centered model, um, so y i hat equals b not star plus b1 x sub i minus x bar. Okay, remember that's the centered model. And remember b not star uh, using our least squares estimator was just y bar and b1 is SXY divided by SXX. Okay, so just this is just a reminder. Okay, so uh, when I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in, so minus B not star, okay, since the minus sign is gonna get distributed, so this becomes minus B1 X sub I minus X bar. Okay, so the sum of this guy. Okay, so this is equal to the sum from i equals one to n. Let's go ahead and plug in that y bar for b naught star. Okay. Okay, so the sum of all of this. So let's go ahead and distribute that sum. When I distribute the sum, I have, so I have the sum from i equals one to n of y i minus, okay, if I sum x bar or y bar n times, I'm just gonna get n of them, minus b1 can be pulled out of the sum, from i equals one to n of xi minus x bar, okay? All right, so this equals, now, so I have the sum from i equals one to n of yi minus, n times, now what is y bar? y bar is the sum of from i equals one to n of yi divided by n. By definition, that's what y bar is, okay? Minus b1, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna distribute this sum, okay? So b1 is b multiplied by all this. And then instead of writing uh, x bar, so it's n x bars so when I distribute the sum, but instead of writing x bar, I'm gonna write this as the sum from i equals one to n of x sub i divided by n, okay? So the reason why I wrote it like that is because now these n's, they cancel, right? And what am I left with? I'm left with the sum of y i equals one to n of y i minus this sum, right? Minus b1 times this sum of x i minus the sum of xi, 
and we can see that things start to cancel here really nicely. So basically, uh, what is this? This cancels out, it goes away. This cancels out, it goes away. You end up with equals zero minus B one times zero, which of course is just zero. All right, so this back piece here, if we go back to where I originally was, I was up here, this back piece is zero. So let me see if I can just copy this. Copy and paste it down here. Okay. So let's see what I have. Okay. So this back piece is zero, so it basically it goes away. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and simplify uh, this front piece here, and I'm going to start by plugging in for this yi hat. Okay, so I have the sum from i equals 1 to n. What is yi hat? It is b naught star plus b1 times x sub i minus x bar, right? So all I've done is I've plugged in for y i hat using the centered model. Okay. All of this is getting multiplied by y i minus y i hat. Okay, and I'll leave that y i hat as y i hat. Okay. Alright, so next let me go ahead and distribute by I'm gonna multiply b naught by my second term, and I'm gonna multiply b1 times uh, x i minus x bar by the second term. Okay, so what I'll have is the sum from i equals 1 to n of b naught times y i minus y i hat, okay, plus b1 times x i minus x bar times y i minus y i hat. All right, so now I'm going to distribute my sum. So let me go ahead and distribute my sum. So b naught star can come out because it doesn't involve i. Y i minus y i hat, okay? Plus b1 can also come out since it doesn't involve um, i. This sum, okay, of x sub i, actually I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. So I'll have x sub i times y i minus y i hat, okay, minus, so this is the sum, minus another sum of, this time it's going to be x bar times this guy. So x bar times y i minus y i hat. All right, and x bar doesn't involve i, so actually it could come out as well. So let me go ahead and write it like that. x bar and then this sum here. Okay. And b i is being multiplied by all of that. Okay. All right, so now some nice things cancel because I've already shown I showed up here that uh, this, so up here, remember I showed that the sum from i equals 1 to n of I, y i minus y i hat, this equals 0. So the sum of the residuals is 0, right? And so we notice that showing up several times. It shows up here, so this 0 is out. And it shows up here, so this 0 is out. Okay, the only place it doesn't show up is right here. So I still need to figure out, hopefully this is zero because remember the whole purpose is I'm trying to show that this, this um, expression is zero, right? So I still need to figure out what is this. So let me go ahead and do that now. So this simplifies and this equals, what am I left with? I have B1 times the sum of x i times y i minus y i hat. Okay, so this is what I'm left with after I've zeroed, figure, I've figured out those guys are zero. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in for y i hat. Okay, once again using my centered model. 
So yi hat is b not star. Okay, the minus sign gets distributed, so minus b1 times x sub i minus x bar. Okay. All right, so next let me go ahead and plug in. So remember b not star is y bar and b1 is sxy divided by sxx. So let me go ahead and first plug in b not star. So this equals b1, the sum from i equals one to n, xi times yi minus y bar, right? So b naught is y bar, so I've plugged in y bar for b naught, all right? Minus, I will plug in b1 in a second, but I'll leave it as b1 for right this second, okay? So I have, I can put parentheses around these guys. So this guy also can have a parenthesis. So when I distribute, I'm gonna distribute xi times this side and X, xi times that guy. And what do I have? I have b1, i equals one to n of x sub i times y sub i minus y bar minus uh, b1 can come out of my, I'll use parentheses around here. So b1 can come out of my sum and I have the sum from i equals one to n of xi. Okay, I've distributed that xi times xi minus x minus x bar. Okay. All right, so this is, this right here, b1, this sum here, this is the same thing as s, x, y, right? It's the same thing as the sum of x sub i minus x bar times y sub i minus y bar, right? So this is s, x, y minus b1 times this, this back piece is the same thing as s, x, x right? It's the same thing as the sum from i equals one to n of x sub i minus x bar times x sub i minus x bar, okay? So, let me write that, s x x, okay? So let me go ahead and plug in b1. Instead of writing b1, let me write s x y divided by s x x. Okay, close this parenthesis. Okay, so what cancels? This cancels with that guy. All right, let me scroll down. And I'm left with this equals B1 times SXY minus SXY, which is B1 times zero, okay? And that's how I get to this equals zero, all right? So let me scroll all the way back up. So I've shown that this piece back here is zero. All right, and then because that piece in the back is zero, we then know that the sum of squares of the total is equal to the sum of squares of the regression plus the sum of squares of the residual.